Hey guys, <clears throat> it's like about 190 degrees outside today, so I decided to do something, something a little different. We're uh, going to get some insight into some of my history as a picture framer. I'm going to do you a little bit of a how-to on something, and this is not for every every uh, person that's ever framed anything. This is kind of a, I don't want to say it's advanced or anything, but it's, it's usually something you run into when you're an actual picture framer. If you're a... Uh, your average homeowner and stuff probably isn't isn't going to be running into this, but uh, you know who knows you may. Um, I'm going to go into how to use some security hardware, and there's a lot of different brands and different variations of what's uh, of security hardware available and and that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm going to use what's pretty much the most commonly found uh, uh, hardware. Um, I'm thinking. You know, there's really no. I, I didn't see any. I, I didn't really look very, you know, in depth. But I didn't see anybody doing anything on how to use the hardware. So that's what we're going to do today. So uh, let, let's uh, let's get started. And this is your typical bag of security hardware. It's uh, each bag pretty much represents enough hardware to do a frame. So. Take a look at the individual components. I'll open it up here, pull them out. You've got your hollow wall anchor pieces. You've got two sizes. These are the two smaller ones. Will be for your um, upper uh, brackets, your upper hangers, your top hangers, and then the lower one, which is larger, will be uh, for the actual locking screw. These are the top hangers these will be anchored to the wall and this is actually what the weight of the picture should be on you've got these three brackets uh, two will go at the top one will go at the bottom and then you've got your locking nut uh, locking lag screw here and what happens is this slips in when your picture comes down this will be in the wall when the picture comes down on top of it this slides in and then you give it a quarter turn with a special wrench that I'll show you a little later you give it a quarter turn and it'll lock it in place and that's what keeps it from falling off the wall and then you have your miscellaneous little bits of screws and stuff and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and screw this together and we'll go from there okay when you're screwing these guys in it's not real critical where they go on here I mean just in from the edge a little ways you want to make sure your screw you might consider pre-drilling we're going to see if this is going to go without pre-drilling but uh, you pretty much just want to make sure you're not going to split the end of your wood you don't want to you, you never want to drive a screw right line it up so you'd land a screw right in the joint that can pop your joint loose but uh, it's not rocket science or anything you just go ahead and mount these guys real quick and that's that Okay, so that's it. That's the hardware. That's This is the bottom. This is going to be the one that locks it in place. Uh, you'll have the two at the top. One here, one over there. As you can imagine, aligning up these three points, you know, you've got the two at the top and the one at the bottom, with the anchors on the wall, which are going to be these guys, and then the actual locking nut at the bottom. That can get kind of tricky as far as especially if you're going to be measuring and holding and handling and stuff so what I recommend are you build these little guys right here these are called these are little center points and they're actually made by taking three of these guys and you abbreviate them you shorten them up and then you grind them so they've got a little point then what you do is you take when you when you go to hang when you go to locate your picture on the wall you simply set these little points simply set the little point in the bracket give it a little twist so it locks in place and you'll see what you'll note is when you line this up on the wall and you give it a little bump that little point will locate the center of each of these brackets it works out pretty well because this the top edge of this bracket lines up more or less in the center of these brackets so then what you'll do is you'll just offset that mark to down here and that'll locate where you anchor with these and we'll show you that in a minute 
Okay, this is where we're hanging it. And on the back, I've put my little center point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up and I'm not gonna measure the height on it. I like the center line of the picture. I like to be about 60 inches or so. You can get, if you want to, you can get into an argument with a curator at a museum or a gallery about that kind of thing. I'm not gonna get into a fight about it. I like mine at 60 inches. We're running with that. You can grab a little spirit level, put it on the top, check for level. Get it just right where you want it. You just bump it. And that'll leave a mark in the wall, and that locates the center of each of these brackets. The next thing you can do, grab a stud finder, and you can locate whether or not on a stud. That one's on a stud, naturally. And then this one is really close to a stud, but not actually on one. And the one in the middle, no stud. So we're going to drill the holes and, oh, actually we're going to, these, if you have to remember that the ones on the top are the center of the brackets that are on the frame. You're going to want to offset those down so that the brackets that actually mount to the wall, that's where you're actually going to run a screw. So we're going to offset that, and then we're going to screw them to the wall. Just along the top, just take the top edge, line it up at the center of that point, make a mark somewhere in the middle of the slot where your screw goes, and that's where your screw is. This one's go. over a stud, so we're not going to drill into it. We'll just run the screw right into the stud. This one here, we're going to drill. I'm using a quarter inch, quarter inch drill. Uh, the bottom one is technically larger, but quarter inch works too. Don't drill through the sheetrock over the art. The dust gets all over the art, especially in some cases where it's like uh, canvas and stuff like that. It doesn't clean off real well. little locking piece you don't want to run it in all the way because you're going to want to be able to reach it still has to latch onto the frame and you still have to be able to reach behind it with your wrench so don't just run it all the way in all right, got the two brackets up here pulled the little centering centering pins out of the back of the frame if everything works this should just hang in place Place, back, give that a quarter turn, and it's locked into position. That's a security hanger. Bye.